So hello everyone and welcome to the first video from the shed for quite a while. Um, you may remember I recently tidied up in here, but this is the first time that I'm actually filming an episode. Um, it's fairly chilly outside and it's got dark, so I thought I'd come in here and do a little unboxing video. One of the reasons that I've come in here to do it is I've got the nice fire in here. And it's really toasty in here now. So anyway, unboxing. You may have seen in recent videos that I've had a couple of uh, grow lights which I've un unboxed. The first one being the Garpson T5, um, which I bought for Vanzon. The second one is the Spider Pharma SF1000, which I won in a raffle from Digging for Dinner. Um, and I may have accidentally gone and bought another one off of Amazon. Um, so this one is one of the cheaper Amazon high-powered ones. So it still cost around the, I think I paid about £135 for this one um, with a voucher. Um, and I wanted to compare this to the Spider Farmer. So the Spider Farmer one is a little bit more expensive. Um, I think the Spider Farmer one comes in at about £200. Um, so there's about a, a what, 60 to 70 pound difference between the two. And I thought it'd be interesting to see, to compare the two. Obviously comparing the Spider Farmer to the Garpson is they're both very different types of light. Um, and the Garpson is kind of never gonna be of the same power, given that it's about 35 pounds. It's never gonna live up to the Spider Farmer at 200. Whereas this one looks like similar sort of size and is supposedly the same power output. So let's have a little unbox, see what we get in there. And then over the next few months, I will compare the results from this one to the results from the Spider Farmer. Right, so here we go, let's open this box. I've not looked to see what's in here. Um, so it should be a nice surprise for both of us, or all of us even. So let's pop that off to start with. Okay, it's fairly well packaged. Um, so this light is made by Aocrine. Um, I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, and there are a few different ones that you can get in the series. So this is the KA1000. You can get a 2000 and a 4000, uh, sorry, a 2000 and a 3000 model as well. Um, so this one has 32 LEDs and then two of these big Cree LEDs, which should make it really, really bright. Um, and it's got a lifespan of around 50,000 hours, apparently. Um, looking in the booklet, it's got lots of information about the um, light output and colors. And then lots of maintenance instructions and things. Right, let's put that to the side. So, do we have in here so it comes along with a temperature and a humidity monitor um, I will probably put this not actually put this in with um, where this light is going because this one's gonna go in the same in the greenhouse grow room and the Garpson is going to be moved um, into a new area that I'm gonna build We've also got some of the hanging um, ropes. So you might remember these from the Spider Farmer as well. Um, these you can basically hang it and change the height that you're hanging from on a ratchet strap. We've also got some hanging clips that will clip onto the light. Um, and this one, this light actually works on like a, uh, a kettle lead. So it means that 
in terms of getting longer extension cables for this, it's probably a bit easier than the others, which might require some uh, either extension leads or some cutting and things. Well, the first thing I notice about this compared to the Spider Farmer is it's really, really heavy in comparison. And if you look, it's really thick as well. What this also does have on here is some built-in fans. Now, I don't know whether that means that this is gonna get really, really hot, um, but we'll have to have a little look and see. Um, so I guess all I need to do now is just to plug it in and see what it, how bright it is. All right, let's pop the main lights off and then we can have a little see of what the different modes on this do and how bright it is. Okay, so the first one that we've got is the bloom setting. As you can see, this creates a kind of purpley light. Uh, it's quite bright. Um, as I say, it's quite purple. Swap across to bloom. So this one creates a very bright uh, white light. Um, and you can actually put both on and have a wider spectrum of uh, light colors. As you can hear, we have got the fans working on this. It is creating a fair bit of air movement above here, which could be useful for in the greenhouse grow room. But I will try and get that put in over the weekend and we can see what effect that has. We can also see how hot this gets as well. I'm assuming that's why we've got the fans, um, but we'll have to wait and see. So there we go. That is the, I want to say air cream, but I really don't know how to pronounce that word. Grow light. It seems sturdy. Um, it seems really bright. Um, it's got the fans on it, which is quite good um, in terms of creating some ventilation. The only thing that concerns me is maybe it gets hot enough that it needs the fans, whereas the Spider Farmer doesn't. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. If you have um, a grow light like this, um, either the same brand or another very similar sounding brand off of Amazon or any of those sites. I know a lot of them come up items like this with different brand names. Drop us a comment, let us know how you found yours um, and any issues that you had with it at all and how well you did. Um, Cause I'd be really interested to know. Um, either way, I'm gonna be trialing this and we'll see how it fares against the Spy Spider Farmer uh, SF1000. Um, so that's it from this unboxing video. Um, if you've enjoyed watching, please do like, comment uh, and consider subscribing. Um, and I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching. Take care. Happy allotment, Tim.